Hello, IKE24 Ports BPS configuration. Today, I will be configuring and setting up a, an IKE TC424 PBX, and this is a 24 port PBX. I'm going to be showing you how to set it up for first use and then how to do the other connections with it. So, the first thing I, I, I want to do is just unbox it so that you see what it looks like inside. Now, this is uh, 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 an IKE PBX. You can see the model here. This is a TC424P PBX. And I am going to be using a power surge for, for the connection. This is the power surge I'm going to be using. I won't connect it directly to the power so that the, in case of power fluctuation, it doesn't burn our PBX. And I'm going to be making use of our regular intercom phones for the configuration also. So if you're doing this for the first time, this video is going to help you set it up normally. Now, initially, we used to have a system port PBX. Over time, the office has grown and then we need to expand. So that's why we'll be using a 24 port PBS instead. You can see what it looks like inside. We have a, a power cord and then this is the main PBX. Inside also, there is a manual. You can see the manual. I'm going to be using the manual to configure it later on. Now, this is what it looks like inside. This is a 24 port PBX. It is much more lighter than what we used to have. I will show you what the older one looks like. You can see the PBX, the first four ports is uh, CO lines and then the remaining lines after the first four port is uh, regular intercom lines. So some of them extended upward. Remember that the first four port is a CO line for transferring external calls and this is the manual. Later on, I'm going to be showing you how to use the manual to configure um, the PBX for, for first use. So if you haven't done already, I would like you to like and subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of good videos on how to fix and set up of different kinds of office equipment. And if you still have any questions or anything related to this PBX or any other office equipment, you can just hit me up in the comment section and I will do everything within my power to be able to respond to you. Like I said earlier, power surge is very, very important for PBX. Don't connect it directly because of power fluctuation so that it doesn't burn the PBX. So I want to get the old uh, PBX so that I'll show you what it looks like, the difference between the two, how technology has been able to grow over time. This is just a system port PBX. You can see how big and bulky it is. It is very heavy and that is because of the component it is made with. And this old PBX tends to burn out easily. After a couple of years, some of the ports start stop working. And then for this newer one, this IKE, I've used a couple of IKE. I've installed a couple of them for some of my clients. And then it, it, it really serves the purpose. It serves the purpose. It is um, lighter and then it serves the, the purpose of it. It doesn't burn out easily and then is intact most of the time you know so the, this this is, is is far cheaper in the market right now compared to the other major brands in the market this is cheap and it, it serves the purpose also and this comes with four direct co lines for external connection so i i've been able to connect the power cord okay i want to show you what the old one and the new one looks like if i'm to to measure it up this is just a system port and you can see how big it is compared to this other one smaller and lighter and even far cheaper in the market right now depending on the currency you're using so this is where the power switch is is on the right hand side So this is the manual. I'm going to be making use of the manual for the configuration in a bit. So if you have your PBX there already, so get ready. I'm going to show you how to configure it for first use. If you plug your, your phone to it uh, for first use, it might not um, work out the way you want it to. 
So this is my power surge and then I am going to be plugging the power to this before I plug it into the into the power outlet. So I'm going to plug it in this way. Is it, it is in now. It is in now. So I'm going to switch it on. You can see it has a little switch on the side depending on the kind of password you're using so there are different kinds of password in the market so just get one that is good that can serve the purpose for which you 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 want you want it for so for for this this password i'm using is going to serve the purpose so i'm going to put it on right now and i'm going to switch on the pabx and then the configuration and setup will begin okay so i put it on you can see the green light it is on the first green light is the is the main line and then the other one on top is the is the indicator when there's a call coming in through the pabs it begins to it begins to um, flicker off and on so i'm going to remove one of the intercom phones and then i will connect it to the pabx Okay, so this is connecting now, and then I'll get the power. If your, your regular um, intercom phone comes with, with, with the cable for connection to the PABX, and then the other one, the spiral one, is for the handle of the phone to the main phone itself. So this is the one from the phone to the PABX. I'm going to connect it right now, and then I'm going to set it up for first use. Remember, like I said earlier, if you plug it directly, you might not be able to... It will not work directly without you setting it up. So once you set it up, normally you hear the welcome tone. You, you hear a voice telling you welcome. That is to let you know that you've set it up fully. It has been fully set up and you can use it normally. Without that, you find it difficult to use the PABX. That is why the first setup is very, very important. In case you just got this particular um, PABX and then you're having issues with setting it up, you think it's not working or the PABX is fault, you know, most of the time the problem is just because it's not set it up for for first use which is what i'm going to be doing right now so i've connected the the call to the phone and then it is going to go to the pabx it is going to go to the face um, the first port the one in uh, the one that shows zero one the one that shows zero one is the admin port and you're going to be using it to set it up as admin remember if i plug it into one of the co lines it is not going to work so I'm going to be plugging it into the CO line for the purpose of this video so that you see what I'm talking about. You can see there is no tone on the phone. And there is no indication that any power is plugged into the phone at all. There is no power at all going into the phone. And, and then the PABX, if you notice, is on. And this is because you plugged it into the CO line. The first four ports on this particular model of um, IKE TC 424P is a CO line. So you can see nothing is showing on the phone because it is on the CO line. Now I'm going to remove it from the CO line, the first four ports, and then after the first four ports, the next line, which they wrote 01, is the main phone itself. You can see the light is on. You can see the light is on. So from here, I can do the normal configuration right now. Now for the configuration, you are going to make use of this. I'm going to be making use of the manual. On the manual, you'll see something like star, star. On the manual, you see something like star, star, zero, one, then A, B, C, D. What that means is you're going to place star two times 
zero one and then one two three four then you add your hash to it and then the setup is done if you press it the, exactly this if you punch in the code exactly the way i told you if you put your handle to the ear you hear a welcome tone to let you know that the setup it is done so from the manual you have one two three four you can see a b c d is one two three and four so from the manual they say once you punch it in you can use it to set up every other phone which is what I'm going to be doing right now. So I lift my phone from the handle, I press star, star two times, then zero, one, then one, two, three, four, then I add my ash. If you do it that way, you've been able to set it up. You hear a tone. There's a tone now saying, welcome. You can hear it clearly. So I've been able to set it up right now. So now that I've been able to set it up right now, I'm going to make use of this phone to call out every other port on the phone. So this particular 01 port has been set as a name. I'm going to be making use of it now to call out every other port on the phone. So I'm going to plug in another phone on the other port. So from the manual, I know it's hard, you can't read clearly, uh, but, but from the manual it says that I have to make use of the first port to set up every other port. So I'm going to be removing the port, removing it from the first port and then plug it into another port. Then I'm going to be configuring it according to the number I want. But as for me right now, I don't want to, I want to follow the pattern that the phone came with. I'm not reconfiguring it. But for you, if you still want to reconfigure each of the ports to suit you, you can follow the same way to configure it. Now, the first number is going to be 102, then ash. Or I can make it. 104 and ash or i can make it 801 and ash 802 and ash depending on the configuration that i want but right now like i said earlier i am going to be making use of the configuration that the pbs came with and then so as not to confuse the staff because the old pbs make use of similar configuration so i don't want to confuse them and the staffs and then give them something totally different from what they used to have so i'm going to plug in another phone to the port and i'm going to be dialing it so i'm going to put it on speaker so that you can hear clearly so i'm going to be dialing zero one you can see it is ringing there if you can hear clearly it's ringing there which means the configuration is done so if i plug it on another port it will be able to ring so i'm going to test out each of the ports one by one to make sure uh, every port on it is working fine because after this the next phase will be to plug it plug in all the um, extensions into the port and then try it out try to call out the staff one by one to be sure that they can hear me clearly and if there's anyone that can hear me clearly i'll go to check the phone if the phone is bad well i'll have to replace the phone for them so i'm going to die this 80 what you can see it is ringing here also you can hear it ringing and you can see the numbers on the screen of the phone so the same thing i'm going to remove it and try it on another port so that you see what i'm talking about 804 804 same thing i'm going to try 805 also 805 you can see it is ringing 
the same way I'm going to try each of the pots one by one. So the, the, the setup is, is basically very very easy. Remember the first thing you have to do is to configure it first. And the configuration is going to be star star zero one one two three four then your ash. Once you dial it, it can give you a welcome tone to let you know that the configuration is complete. Then from there on you can configure each of the ports according to the numbering or you leave it the same way it is and then use it that way it is pretty easy when you follow the configuration pattern i'm showing you here right now so i'm going to the same way try that try out each of the port i remember what i said earlier if you have any questions on this if one or two things is not clear to you you can just hit me up in the comment section and then I'll do everything within my power to be able to 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 answer the question and then sort out the issue for you and remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already I have a lot of great videos on how to uh, solve a lot of um, how to install and repair a lot of office equipment you can just go through my videos in my channel you see a lot of videos on on different repairs and setup and configurations so um, thank you and then i'm going to see you some other time and take care